everybody's had an opportunity to introduce themselves. We'll start to sit down and we better get our first speaker up here on stage. Let's get going. You honestly, you just never know who you're going to meet at Collision and what difference it might make in your life. It might just transform your company, your career, your purpose, your country, or the world. So we've attendees from all four corners uh, of the globe, and I'm just going to do a, a little call out. I'm, I'm first going to call out all those incredibly polite Europeans that don't like to make noise. Is there anyone here from Europe? So fucking polite. Is there anyone here from USA? So loud, unnecessarily loud. And uh, of course we got to, is there anyone here from Canada? Vancouver? Toronto? Vancouver? Okay, okay, okay. Um, <laughs> well, let's hear it for our wonderful host, Toronto, and of course, uh, Canada. We've had an absolutely amazing few years here, and we're really looking forward to going uh, to the West Coast next year. <laughs> Speaking of Canada, I would like to introduce our first speaker, who is the CEO of, well, I'll say a Canadian AI startup, but it's a startup, Cohere. They've just closed a fresh Jesus Christ, 450 million funding round at a 5 billion valuation. Our next talk is not about AI funding, it's about what happens next. With all this capital being deployed to AI startups, what now is the real world impact? Where is AI taking us? To find out what impact AI will have, please welcome in conversation with Sharon Goldman of Fortune, the former intern of Jeffrey Hinton, and now slightly more famously known as the founder and CEO of Cohere, Aiden Gomez. Good morning. Hi, Aiden. Hey, welcome to Toronto. So nice to hang out in your hometown. Yeah, I'm stoked. What's it like for here. you to be hanging here this week? It's great. I, I've been living in, in London for about six months now, uh, and I didn't realize how much I miss Toronto. The summers here are like the best summers in the world. It's just, it's incomparable. So I, I'm super stoked to be back and, and excited to be here. Well, I'm stoked too. I'm fully caffeinated and ready to go. And we're talking today about the real world impact of AI on businesses. Um, I feel like that real-world impact can sometimes get drowned out and miss the hype of generative AI, which we've been experiencing nonstop, really, since ChatGPT was launched in November 2022. It feels longer, doesn't it? It does, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but um, when I speak to enterprise businesses, they're always interested in, in getting down to the brass tacks how can they uh, implement generative AI use cases into production at scale? How can they get return on investment? Um, you told me recently when we chatted that we're finally at a moment where that can happen. Enterprises are putting AI workloads into production. They're moving beyond experiments. But to be honest, I feel like I get a mixed bag when I speak to people, um, especially when it comes to going beyond experiments. Um, you know, for sure, taking those use cases into ones that impact consumers in their daily lives. Um, we just saw yesterday that McDonald's shut down an experiment for their uh, drive-through AI ordering, things like that. So I'm wondering why you think this is the moment, the year that the pedal meets the metal in terms of getting that real-world impact. Yeah, I, I think you're right. It's recent. The technology only kind of came into the public's view a year and a half ago. Um, and really, last year, 2023, was kind of the year of the proof of concept. Right. And so enterprises saw the technology. It blew up in consumer space. And they asked the question, how does this impact us? How can we adopt it? What can we build with this? And they spun up a ton of POCs. And those are just little tests, you know, a few users. Um, and it takes a while for those POCs to come to fruition. 
and to see the results and the outcomes of them. But now we have those results. The POCs that enterprises have done, they actually love what they've built. You know, their teams love what they built. And so they want to go to production. But they hit a barrier. The first barrier is data privacy. And so if you're having to send your data out to some service where the model lives somewhere else, that's too insecure. There's too much risk there. You're vulnerabilizing your user's data. You're vulnerabilizing your internal data. And so privacy was a huge blocker to adoption. That's something that we at Cohere have very much focused on, being completely privately deployable, cloud independent. The second thing is scalability. So the technology, these models are massive. They require tons of GPUs to serve. And when you're doing a POC that's like five people playing around with a little app, scalability doesn't matter. But when you want to push that in front of 10,000, a million, 10 million users, the equation completely changes. And so you need a solution that's actually scalable and going to be able to serve the, the scale of deployment that you're pushing into prod. And so I, I think those two things have held us back, but those barriers are coming down. Like I said, Cohere is very focused on private deployment. We don't just build a massive model for the sake of building a massive model. We build models that market can actually consume and that will scale. And so actually deployable into production. So as these barriers come down and as enterprises get comfort around the technology and build trust, I think we're going to see that take off. And we've already see, started to see the early signs of that. I, you know, one thing that's important is for us, the model builders, most of us were spending way more money on the compute to train the model. Right. Now we're starting to see a shift where it's actually the compute to serve the model and put it out into the real world and get it into production where the dominant amount of spend is going. And so what we're seeing in the numbers themselves is shift of going from pre-production into prod. So, um, you know, obviously uh, model builders are in the trenches. They're the ones building the models. A company like Cohere is working every day with customers. But for those of us on the outside just kind of looking in, I feel uh, in, in my talks with companies that there's, there feels like such a disconnect uh, to me between talking about the real world impact of AI on business and kind of other companies at least, uh, you know, stated mission of, you know, we're going to get to artificial general intelligence, AGI, this is where we're really going. And we're over here now, but we're going to get over there.